Alright guys, this is a big one. It's come from Alex the Beot. Um, the Beot, uh, however you pronounce his last name. The media is covering the, the truck that rammed into the crowd during France's Independence Day where 75 been killed, more than 100 others have been wounded. However, they're not covering the Eiffel Tower on fire, and the media is completely silent on this. I wanted to do this live, but unfortunately, I want I didn't have the confidence it was going to work. Here's the tower in the actual Eiffel Tower. It's literally on fire. All the way to the top. Why is this not being covered? Why is this not being covered, folks? Photos the Eiffel Tower and video circulating on social media show flames and heavy smoke near the base of the Eiffel Tower in Paris. We sent a statement the fire was supposedly an accident, and it has been put out, supposedly. And then they basically go into the incident. It was reported after a truck driver hit a crowd of people who had gathered to watch the Bastille Day fireworks in a resort of Net uh, Nice, France, killing dozens. It wasn't dozens. It was almost a hundred people they killed, and nearly a hundred others wounded. Now, the numbers go back and forth a little, but people are putting this out. Tim Williams, black smoke seen billowing near the Eiffel Tower in France. Sputnik put out their details on it. Uh, this is actually coming from the Boston Globe. And as you can see, the media is absolutely silent on this. Absolutely silent. The Eiffel Tower has been put on fire during Bastille Day. And it doesn't get a wink, not even a notice. And I know that the um, truck going into the crowd is way more worse, but this should at least be mentioned. I'm certain lots of people were injured in this supposed accidental fire. But nobody wants to say that a national monument in France was on fire during the celebration of their Independence Day. Meanwhile, oddly enough, what happened? A truck went in through a crowd and killed nearly 200 people. Firing into the crowd, lots of other things. Police did respond in the right manner, killing the driver. Absolutely. That is a situation in which the... The use of force is absolutely necessary to put down the threat. But let me show you this one more time so that you understand this is real, folks. This is not conspiracy. This is not a joke. This is not anything. This is real. It's 25 seconds, so I can show the whole thing. So as you can see here, folks, this was real. The Eiffel Tower was on fire, or is on fire currently, depending on how you put it. The media is still silent. Meanwhile, at the same time, a truck full of a wackadoodle driver nearly kills 200 people. I don't know about you folks. But this was a bad day for France, an absolute bad day for France. But I wanted to put this out there because nobody's covering the Eiffel Tower on fire, and the media is silent. And yet, what did I just show you? Boston Globe here. Sputnik down here. And then several people have put this out there. Alex Theobot, I believe he's for um, Boston Globe, I believe. 
Uh, this article is by Jacqueline Reese by the Globe Staff, July 14, 2016. Today's exact date, folks. Um, this is a big deal. The Eiffel Tower, ladies and gentlemen, is on fire or was on fire. And the media is or was silent. And oddly enough, I'm playing you this. And my frames encoded on my X split are running so slow right now. I almost hope that this is getting to you. I was going to run this um, um, in a fast motion live, but I felt that YouTube would just cut it up and make it into junk. So I decided to show you this and to show you that the media is being silent about an attack on the Eiffel Tower during their Bastille Day or their Independence Day. Uh, and basically, they're being silent. Yes, the truck killing nearly 200 people or a killing 100 or was it 75 and injuring another 100 at this point is the talk of the day. I understand that. But as it is the talk of the day, this should be mentioned alongside it. Yet they don't want to put out two major incidents in one day for their celebration day. And I want to thank Alex Theobot, um, the Boston Globe, and Sputnik for this. Um, let's see what Sputnik actually said. Because they usually have something good to say. Sputnik said, watch live coverage, nice attack. Bastille Day, and they give uh, Sputnik Twitter account details. Police say black smoke near Eiffel Tower. Supposedly not a terrorist attack, but we all know how that ends up real fast. Ladies and gentlemen, if, one, if they did one, they did both, usually. The idea that one was an accident and the other was a terrorist attack is highly unlikely. So highly unlikely. You don't get flames and smoke like that, ladies and gentlemen from an accident. No accident puts that much into it unless, of course, there was some kind of festivity that went haywire, like um, a fireworks display that was supposed to go right and it didn't. But not right now they're not releasing details. And the media is actually silent on this and I actually feel very unhappy with the fact that the Eiffel Tower is on fire and the media is silent. I understand the truck going through the nearly 200 people is the talk of the day and it should be. I understand that Trump has suspended his VP pick um, for courtesy of the people who died uh, in response to that. I understand that and I respect it. And I respect him for doing that because he thinks that his idea, you know, that his pick isn't so big that it should overshadow the attack in France. But if there is an attack using the truck, then this would be the same thing. The Eiffel Tower was on fire or, you know, black smoke was seen. And you don't get that much black smoke from an accident, folks. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you were doing. That much smoke, ladies and gentlemen is deliberate. Now, it might have been a fireworks display gone wrong, could have been a hundred thousand different things. But the fact they're not telling us what it was or wasn't really kind of drops the ball that it might have been something else. And fact of the matter is, folks, we should really care about this. Thank you.